What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here and today I want to talk about the April update in general, look at what it did right and wrong and how I think it affected Destiny, so a bit of a discussion on the April update as a whole, it's definitely been a very interesting one and of course leave your thoughts down below, what do you think of the April update, did you like it, did you not, but well, know what you guys think so be sure to leave those comments and have a discussion about the April update and how I think it did for Destiny as a whole. So generally speaking, I think the April update was a very, very good success for the game. And I think it worked exactly how they intended it to, which wasn't supposed to be a massive expansion, a massive revitalization of the game. I think it was exactly what it's supposed to be, which is kind of fixing the game and making things exactly how the community have been saying they wanted things, mainly in terms of the loot and the things to do in the game. I think most people have positive things to say about the April update, and it goes to show you don't need massive content to actually do something positive to the game. And of course, some people are very bored of Destiny. They want new raid, they want new planet. They're kind of burned out in it. And of course, for those people, the April update probably wasn't that great. Of course, if they were looking for new stuff, the Prison of Elders is still pretty much the same thing. It's a reskin with slightly new things to do. So if you're that kind of person that was looking for brand new content, and you absolutely cannot play Destiny unless you have new stuff, it probably wasn't that great in all honesty. But for most people who grind this game a lot like me, or most of you guys, it was very good. Because simply put, it was an upgrade to Destiny and it was a very good quality of life improvement and made grinding the game a lot more worthwhile. Obviously, everyone wants new content, new raids. I cannot wait for this full expansion and to get new stuff in the game. But I think the April update has been a lot better than I expected. I wasn't really expecting all that much. I was thinking it would be kind of cool, some new stuff to do. But I didn't think I'd be playing for this long. And honestly, like I said, the quality of life improvements were the best thing. and really made it worthwhile, especially the 100% infusion and the increased rep. They made the actual packages worthwhile and the actual stuff you get from them are worthwhile in itself. You get good weapons out of them. You got the longbow, you got the LDR, you got loads of year one weapons, which is generally really good. It's kind of funny how in year two we're grinding for some of the best things in Destiny, which are year one weapons. But these general year one weapons feel like exotics right now. I don't really care about any exotics. I think I have them all in Destiny. But these longbows and LDRs feel like exotics used to in year one. I'm really excited to get one. And if longbows does drop, it gets me really excited, just how it used to for the year one exotics. So it feels really weird that year one weapons are like exotic weapons right now. But anyway, they added some really cool stuff to the packages. Another thing that's been changed is the two main pillars of Destiny being the Vanguard and the Crucible actually feels worthwhile when you pop a rep booster because you know you're going to try and get one of those year one weapons. I personally are trying to get one of those with good perks and that is definitely the carrot on the stick for me at the moment and the reason I still play Destiny. I want to get a really good longbow or a really good LDR and there are a load of other weapons in there as well and I guess another thing that Bungie have kind of added to make us want to grind the game and want to grind Vanguard and Crucible. Of course, the loot system is also the best it's ever been. It made you realize just how awful year two was with the Galactic Kings for Raid and trying to get to 320. That was just probably the worst grind we've ever had in Destiny and it was nearly unobtainable. Like I personally have put probably like 2000 plus hours into the game and I didn't even get to 320 myself. I raided a lot, but most people seem to get bored and the loot system just seems to didn't really entice people to want to play the game or actually grind this stuff. And I found it so crazy how literally six months after taking King, barely anyone on my friends list was actually the max level of 320. It was just so weird how they did that. Of course, that's a whole other topic of the reason why 320 isn't even that big deal. There's no power difference. But these days, you can actually hit 335 on all characters, and it's obtainable. So once again, just really shows how awful year two was, and how so much better it is now that your stuff drops a little bit higher than the light level, and it's progressive. And not only can you hit 335 on all characters, but now you can do it without doing the raid. You can do it simply in Crucible or solo in Vanguard Strikes. You can do whatever you want and eventually hit 335. Something I think still needs a lot of work is the Nightfalls. I think those are just way too difficult and way too grindy and slow for like 330 Vanguard armor. The rewards need to be much better. The six or 700 rep that you do get from the Nightfall is very good, but I still think the Nightfall needs a lot of work. It used to be a really, really good activity and the main end game for Destiny and PvE especially, but now I feel like no one even does it and I don't really do it much myself. Now, if we move over to the Crucible, the one glaring issue that I'm seeing that you guys are probably sick of hearing about is skill-based matchmaking. It feels like it's been turned way up since the April update. I think almost everyone noticed it. The matches seem a lot sweatier and a lot laggier, which are two very bad things. I mean, I can handle playing against skilled players. That's one thing. It's kind of annoying. I can deal with it. When they're skipping around the map and not taking damage, it gets frustrating. So I'm hoping it's some sort of bug they don't know about and matchmaking in some form gets fixed once again. But I'm sure you guys are already sick of hearing about skill-based matchmaking. I think we can all agree that we don't like it and hopefully it gets removed or toned down as much as possible. But shifting away from that, I think the Crucible is definitely in the best state it has ever been, which is kind of a rare thing. It's never really been this balanced, I don't think. But let me know what you think in the comment section. I've been playing Crucible a lot since launch, and they've always been broken and ridiculously OP weapons. But these days, it doesn't seem like anything is that crazy OP. And it's been like more than a month, and nothing has really popped up and surfaced, as this is the crazy OP weapon. There's still stuff that is more powerful than the most powerful stuff to use, but it seems the most balanced, I think. Of course, Destiny is a very complicated game. You can never get it balanced with the thousands of different weapons. 
weapons and perk combinations. But I think it's a quite a good state right now. Like there are good auto rifles, there are good pulse rifles, scouts, hand cannons. There's a good option in every single one. Uh, fusion rifles are very usable. Snipers are snipers, of course. Shotguns are very good. So it feels like every class has a good weapon in it. And I can think of about two or three weapons in each category that I'll be perfectly happy with using. And I think are quite strong weapons. And I especially love how auto rifles are decent and actually usable now. They've been dead for a long time, but it feels good to actually use auto rifles like the Shadow Price and their decent weapons in Crucible. Now one thing that I do see is quite an issue is I feel like there's too much of an emphasis on special weapons right now and I say that as a sniper myself, I use snipers a lot, you see my trials videos, you know that I love sniping but it doesn't mean that I can't see that they're a little bit too easy to use in my opinion and the trials map banner fall really highlighted that I feel like it was snipe or be sniped wait for someone to get a snipe and then push that and it was just really really sniper focused i just really want to play with more primary weapons and have solid gun fights just using pulse rifles and autos and stuff like that I'm not have to worry about red glints everywhere but i'm not sure what the solution is honestly it's very very tricky like i said trying to balance destiny is nearly an impossible job and it never will be perfect i'm glad there's nothing crazily powerful like the sunbreakers and the taken king they could survive a sniper shot to the head and they were just complete tanks they could destroy everything or the thorn or the old school Cerus regime back when destiny first launched the Cerus Regime Auto Rifle was an absolute monster. Maybe one of the most OP weapons in Destiny's history. And I'm really happy with the Crucible at the moment. I think it's fairly balanced. That's just my opinion. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section. So like I said, the April update wasn't huge in content. But it was a good overhaul to the actual system and quality of life for Destiny. And I'd be happy if they did more of these regularly often. If there's a content drought, just do more of these. And maybe bump the light level by 15 points. Bring back some more year on weapons. I'd be more than happy with that. I think we can all agree this April update was way better than Crimson Days and Festival of the Lost put together. So hopefully more of this on the way. But of course, you don't have to wait too long into the full expansion that should be getting announced and at least more info in the next coming months so definitely some very good times ahead for destiny players i'm sure they announce it as soon as possible because also we always want more stuff to play so leave your thoughts like i said down in the comment section of anything i've said i'm sure a ton of you guys are going to agree and disagree with things i've said but that's totally fine hopefully you guys did enjoy the video anyway drop a like rating if you did and i'll see you guys in the next one